Do you want to set up different ranks for players on your Minecraft server? Well, I'm Owen from Shockbite, and today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to set up ranks and permissions on your Minecraft server. For this tutorial, we'll be using LuckPerms. LuckPerms is a super reliable and flexible plugin for Minecraft that will allow you to set permissions and roles to limit the commands players have access to on your server. For example, you can have separate roles for default players, moderators, and admins, all having different levels of access to commands. This tutorial, I'll be installing LuckPerms on my Spigot 1.16 server. To do that, head over to the official LuckPerms Spigot page, which will be linked in the video description, then click download now. Once you have the jar file downloaded, upload this to the plugins folder in your server directory. There are multiple ways to install plugins on your Shopwire server. We have a tutorial on how to do this, which is linked in the iCards. Return to the server control panel and start the server. Once you have installed LuckPerms, you are able to choose your storage type since LuckPerms is capable of storing data in a variety of ways. I will be using H2 as this is the default option and does not require additional setup, but if you prefer a different storage option, you can change this in the storage settings section of the config file. More information on the other storage options for LuckPerms and how to set these up are linked in the video description. To start modifying permissions, you will need to give yourself full access to do this. Navigate to your server console via the left hand side menu of the server panel. Then type LP user your Minecraft username permission set luckperms dot asterisk true. Hit enter. You should then see this message in the server console. The easiest way to manage permissions is to create groups. Doing this will allow you to specify different sets of permissions that can be granted to multiple players. For example, I can create a group for the server admins, moderators, and regular players, which have their own set of permissions and simply assign a player to any of these groups. To create new groups, you can use the create group command. This can be done in game by using the same commands but with a forward slash at the beginning of each command. This tutorial, we will however be doing it in the server console. As an example, we are going to create an admin group. In the console, type LP, create group, admin, to create a new empty group labeled admin. Now that we've created a group, we can start adding permissions to it. This is done using the command LP, group, group name, permission, set, permission node, For this example, we will give the admin group permission to ban players. If you later want to remove a permission from a group, you can use the same command again, but with unset instead of set. You can view additional group management commands by typing LP group group name to list all the available subcommands for the permissions. Inheritance allows users or groups to inherit the permissions of other groups. This is useful as it means you will not have to manually give the same permission to multiple groups. As an example, I have created a new group called Moderator that has the command to mute players but doesn't have access to ban them. Rather than manually adding the mute permission to the admin group, we will just inherit this from the Moderator group which already has that permission. To do this, we will use the command LP group admin, parent, add, moderator. The inheritance system is recursive. So say if you had a group called default that the moderator role inherited permissions from, the admin role would also inherit permissions from the default role just by inheriting them from the moderator role. To remove a group's inheritance, you will need to use the command LP group group name parent remove group name. For example, to stop the admin role from inheriting the moderator role, it would be LP group admin parent remove moderator.
Now you have the admin group that has access to ban misbehaving players. You can add a player to the admin group. You use the command LP, user, player name, parent, add admin. The player you've specified is now added to the admin group and can ban players. To remove a player from the group, you will need to use the command LP, user, player name, parent, remove, group name. Luck Perms also has a web editor. This allows you to make changes to permissions data using an interface in a web browser. To set up the web editor, you will need to use the command LP editor to start a new session. For this example, we will start a session for editing all groups using the command LP editor groups. Then go to the link that is given. In the web editor, select groups and then the group that you want to add permissions to. Then add permissions and type the permission you want to add. So for example, minecraft.command.mute. Hit enter, then click add. Once you've finished adding your permissions to your groups, click save. Then copy the command as given into game or the console but using the same command without the forward slash. Each time you want to make changes after saving, you will need to start a new session. To delete a permission, simply find the permission you want to remove, select the tick box, then click delete. Then delete again and don't forget to save and apply all the edits once you have finished. You should now know the initial setup for ranks and permissions for those ranks on your Minecraft server. If you found this video useful, then make sure to leave a like and if you haven't already, subscribe for more useful tutorials such as this one.